Cool, tip number one for riding POW, especially in these conditions where it's a little bit hairier, is we want to try to be as neutral as possible, so a little back seat, that way our tips don't go under and catch on anything. Dropping! Oh my god! Tip set! Everyone likes a classic face shot. I think one of the easiest ways to do that is to just get yourself out of the air, turn your skis sideways, and just try to plow the snow like a hockey stop we say in Canada here. Let it go over your face. Too slow. Too slow, but so the key to that is to make sure you keep your speed up. That way when you turn sideways, you don't come to a stop. Maybe we can do it on this next patch. Sometimes in this harder condition, so when the snow is thicker, it's a little tougher to do. But let's see if we can find a patch over here where we can get it happening. I think I see one right over there. Let's see how it goes. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! One more. Woo! Another one. There we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so that's a classic case of when the snow is super heavy, tips getting under, kind of plowing over and going in front of our face. But it's all good, it's soft. All right, classic. Again, getting full of snow when you go over the front of your face. So obviously you want to get the snow out of there so uh, you don't fog up, you stay warm. So key to that, take off your helmet, knock it all around. You want to get the top of your goggles clean there because that's where most of the fog will kind of consolidate inside of your goggles if it's not getting some airflow. Clean that off right away. Make sure everything else is cleaned off so it doesn't melt and get wet on you. Sometimes you might have it in your hood. Give the hood a shake. That's a hard one because you don't really see it, right? It's behind you. So give it a shake every time. You're giving yourself a higher chance of, higher chance of staying dry for the rest of the day. Um, definitely try to get your vents cleaned out if you can. In this heavier snow that we have out here in Whistler, especially this time of year, it can be a little harder. But what I like to do is I try to uh, turn the flicker forward and back. And that kind of loosens it up a little bit. As the day goes on, I leave the vent open. So again, avoid the fogging. And uh, we're pretty much good to go again here, guys. Dry and ready to roll. All right, so I just took a bale, as you guys probably saw over there. And I got full snow in all my holes and everything. So definitely, if I don't do anything about this, I'll be wet and fogged up for the rest of the day because I won't have any airflow anywhere here. So the trick to all this is in the gondola, start taking it all off. Um, you want to get some air going through all your goggles, make sure that all this slush and snow is kind of cleaned out. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely get that going. The other thing is to try to make sure the vents in your helmet is cleaned out. Um, my, one of my favorite ways to do that is to just go back and forth with the vents and then keep them open for the rest of the day. Um, that allows the airflow to go into your goggles. Um, with that, we'll have a little less fog. Already I'm starting to defog. As you can see, I have some in there. Um, shaking my goggles around will be very helpful. The other thing is I noticed in this gondola right now, we've got the windows closed. Um, that's just gonna kind of keep everything in here. So like I said, getting some more airflow in here would be to open these up a little bit. It may seem like you might get a little bit cold to start, but trust me for the longevity of your day, it is the way to go. That way um, you keep your core a little bit warmer from not being wet. Um, everything else, you just wanna make sure that, I mean, I wear these super sweet little cuffed in kind of wristband things for my jacket and that keeps my wrist cleaned out but if you don't you want to clean that out right away you want to get your hood out again I kind of did it right after I fell so I don't have much snow in there but it'll often kind of get all stuck up in there so you want to clean it off um, if you have long hair get your hair cleaned off now because it'll only keep getting wetter and you get everything else wet when you tuck it in <laughs> he's got to clean off their hair um, Aside from that, if you're well dressed, meaning everything's tight, then you shouldn't really have any snow in your pants. But if you do, just kind of get all that out there right away and it'll make your rest of your day a lot nicer. All right, so I did a very big no-no when it comes to keeping your goggles from fogging. I put my goggles on top of my head. Um, so the trick here is now that I'm coming inside to hang out and chill, I'm gonna get some napkins from here. Usually they're free, which is great. I'm gonna stuff them into my goggle like that. I'm gonna to try to be as light as possible so that it does not scratch my lenses. Just gonna leave them like that, chill, get some water, some food, and then uh, should be good to go afterwards. Okay, so before we can really chill, 
We definitely want to try to make sure we get the top of our goggle here as dry as possible. So dabbing that out will help a lot. Again, we want airflow, but also when the air is flowing, we don't want it to create any more condensation. So trying to keep it as dry as possible is the key to that. As right, so you dab it around, once you feel it's pretty dry, that's not bad. I'm actually gonna leave my goggles upside down on top of that so that if they drip anywhere, they go out of the goggle, not into the goggle. I just don't want water in there.